Grade 5, Module 5, Lesson 20, Homework. Number 1, follow the flowchart and put the name of the figure in the boxes. So we start out with quadrilateral. So everything is a quadrilateral that we've been learning about. So we're going to say yes. It has, so we're looking for something that has four right angles and four sides of equal length. So if something has four right angles and four equal sides, that is a square. If it has four right angles, so we're following the yes, and then we read four e sides of equal length, but that's a no, so something that just has four right angles would be a rectangle. So follow, going down the flow chart, so if something doesn't have four right angles, so now we're on to no, so it doesn't have four right angles, but it does have two sets of opposite angles that are the same size. Yes, so we're gonna follow this way. So the two opposite angles have the same size and it has four sides of equal length. So four equal sides and the opposite angles are the same size. That describes a rhombus. But if it just has two opposite sides of the same length and four sides that aren't equal, that would be a parallelogram. We're going to keep going down the chart. So if something doesn't have four right angles, it doesn't have two sets of opposite sides of the same size. If we look, it has at least one pair of parallel sides. So this thing also doesn't have at least one pair of parallel sides, but it does have two pairs of equal sides that are adjacent, so the sides that are next to each other are the same size. That is a kite. And lastly, if something just has at least one pair of parallel sides, that is a trapezoid. Number two. SQRE is a square with an area of 49 centimeters squared, and RM is equal to 4 and 95 hundredths centimeters. Find the measurements using what you know about the properties of squares. So letter A, RS, so the length from R to S, we want to know what the length of that is. We know that RM is 4 and 95 hundredths, so it's going to be twice that length. So we can either do that times two, or we can just add it twice. 18, 19, bring my decimal point straight down. So we get nine and 90 hundredths, or nine and nine tenths centimeters. QE, so what we know about, what we know about squares is that the bisectors are equal, so QE would also be equal to 9 and 9 tenths centimeters. The perimeter, so we know that the area is 49, so what times what is equal to 49, and we know that squares all have the same length, so these need to be the same measurement. So we're thinking of two numbers that when we multiply them together that are the same number, like 3 times 3 is 9, or six times six is 36, or this would be seven times seven is 49. So we know that each side is seven centimeters. So if each side is seven centimeters, then the perimeter would be seven times four sides, or 28 centimeters. Uh, let's see, measure of angle QRE. So QRE. So we're looking for the measure of that angle. What we know about squares is that all of their angles are 90 degrees, and the angle measure of angle RQM, it doesn't really matter where it is, because we know that the measure of all the angles are 90 degrees.